Hey guys, welcome to the first tutorial and hopefully a lot more to come. Uh, on this today, on today's little video, I want to show you something interesting that maybe some of you, don't, some of you don't know. Um, for the ones of you coming from a 3ds Max modeling background, I guess this is going to be useful. Um, the way in Maya things work is that you can you can have a geometry and add obviously like the formers and add to the stack. But it's very hard to go back and change some things. Uh, it's a lot more destructive than the way it worked in, in 3ds Max. And let me show you with a, with an example. If I go in 3ds Max and I have a, a plane here, and on this guy I can just add a symmetry modifier, for example. Let's do this here, like this, and just make sure it's zero. I can also add like a turbo smooth, so we can really see what we're doing. And now, if I change this guy in here oops, and activate this icon here, I can see the final result of the things I'm, I'm doing. So it's a very powerful way to start just doing some interesting modeling. Right. There you go. All right, and anything you are adding here is just going to transfer to the final result. Um, and you can of course keep stacking these guys, for example I could add just another symmetry modifier in here. Maybe go this way. I could just keep modeling this. And at any point see the final sort of result. Things don't work quite like that in, in Maya, so if I go into my Maya I have the same plane in here, and now I add a like a mirror node, and I also add like a smooth node. And of course, I know I can press just number three and see it smooth, but this is not the point. The point is just show how this doesn't work in in Maya. So, anyways, now if I want to go back to those original four polygon, uh, four two polygons that make my object or one polygon, there is no way I can do that. I can, if I go into face mode. The only thing I can select is this final result. There's no way I can access that original polygon like in Max, where I can, if I come here, I still have like the base object. Maya doesn't work that way, but there is a little way of hacking this, I guess. So let's get rid of these two guys for now. Get it out. There we go. I'm gonna show you how this works. Uh, let's say I take. You can use whatever object for this. Sometimes you can even make a copy. Sometimes with a copy it doesn't work. I don't know why. But anyways, now we have our two primitives in here. What I'm gonna do is I'll take my uh, note editor. Also, the beauty of this is that you can just script this if you know how to script. And it's something we're gonna see in another video. Anyways, I'll bring these guys in here. I can just hide uh, those and those. And I have these two notes. My my plane and my secondary geometry. The only thing I need to do is uh, I can take my out mesh from the original object into the in mesh of this plane, of this cube. And there you go. Now, whatever I do to this geometry here, it's gonna totally transfer into this other object. But it's not like an instance where that happens both ways. This is just in one way. So the cool thing, let's say I can take this and just maybe over here for now. So normally, whatever you do to this guy here, I just reset the tool. All right, it happens also on the other object, but not the other way around. If I take this, this doesn't transfer into this one, and this connection is still working. All right. So with that said, what I can do now, I could even add this into a layer. Put it here and just make it not selectable. I can select it in the liner and now I could add a mirror node in here. I could also add oops. I could also add like a smooth deformer for example. And now the beauty of this is I can come in here and select this guy and start doing the same thing we're doing in uh,
I can even make this sort of transparent and then just keep working with that guy. Yeah, and whatever you do to this guy, right? She's gonna transfer into the other geometry. I can even delete the history, of course. And this still works. I can still do more things in here. Okay. Because that connection is still connected. So whatever you do to this shape is gonna transfer into this other shape. Uh, another example on why this could be useful, for example, uh, let's say I bring a different object in here. I've used this sometimes for like things like topology. Let me show you what I mean with that. Alright, so let me get rid of these two guys. Let's add a nicer shader on this so we can see it a bit better. Something like that. Right, that's gonna work. So now I'm gonna set this a, as a live surface. I'm gonna put this like that, so I have two windows. Make this a bit bigger, open my outliner so I see what I'm selecting. Right. So what I want to do is do like a proper topology on this guy. Uh, so I'm gonna go into my quadro menu. I know I'm using a lot of like hotkeys and marking menus. Uh, please leave a comment down below if you're lost or you want me to explain something a bit further. So anyways, very quickly I could start adding like topology in here. All right. And then something I could do is I could, let's do the same thing we did before. I'll add like a cube or whatever, open my node editor. I'll take these two guys. Let me delete history on this, okay. And I can just take the out mesh into the in mesh. All right. So now this cube should be exactly the same. There it is. Now what I can do with this guy is also smooth. And now what I could do is, let me just take this and this, isolate it in this view, All right? Not sorry, these two guys. So now I can change this, but obviously this guy here is just a smooth version of this. It's not really adapting to the to the scan that we're topologizing, All right? So what I can do as well is just take this guy and take my scan, go into the form, wrap. Uh, no, shrink wrap, sorry, open this. Vertex normals, bidirectional, and that's gonna just trigger rays and do some ray casting, and then we have this projected in here all the time. So now I can just do this, do this, and very quickly I can just start doing this. And you know what, let me add another shade on this guy, the one so we can see it a bit better, yeah. And now you see how this guy in here is just working with us so we can see how that topology is gonna look in high res. Um, also at any time I can just select this, come into my poly smooth and add less or more, you know, just do whatever you want and keep stacking the formulas on it. And it works really well, really fast. I don't see any slowdowns in there. And I'm also recording this in a fairly slow computer. So yeah, what I want you to understand is that this is not only for topology or retopology, it's just for stacking the formers and still use the original control mesh, which is this one here. Alright, so hopefully that's going to be helpful. Uh, as a, another last example, I will show you, let me just hide these guys in here and show you how cool it is if you can do some scripting 
and in this case I'm gonna show you let's say I have a like cylinder in here yeah something like this and now I'll take rid of this All right All right so what I can do now something that is really cool in in max for example let me just Oops, get rid of this guy. We'll do the same thing. Cylinder. Maybe this. Cover to polis, like these two guys. Get rid of this. And I could just add like a shell modifier. And now whatever you do to the base. Alright, I can still see it in there. So now in Maya you could do the same, we could do this, and now I have a scripted version of, of what I just showed you. Which obviously I didn't script it, I don't know what scripting, but my friend Moritz Memoli, who also belongs to this channel, is gonna show us in another video. So we can just click on this button here, and there you go, we have our cylinder on a copy. And now I can just work on this guy here, with history, and I can just start fiddling with it, doing whatever I want. And that still works. And then I can take this guy, I like it, smooth or whatever you want. You could even isolate this guy in here. Isolate it in here if I wanted to. Make things a bit easier. Oh, let me close my UVs. And there you go, there you have it. We build like a shell modifier very quickly. And the, the principle is just the same, mesh out into mesh in and yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, please leave a comment down below. And if you like this, please like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you around. Goodbye.